All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody that is listening to us on the Fresh Start Show with Dr. Holt. Our co-host is in the building, Tom Cortez, and we are excited for this morning. Listen, get up, get up, get up. Whatever <laughs> you're doing, we want you to get up and get your favorite cereal, get your Frosted Flakes, your Corn Flakes, your... Raisin <laughs> Bran, your Fruit Loops, Apple Jack, Cream of Wheat, Oatmeal, whatever and how you like it. Let's get ready for another edition of the Fresh Start Show where we believe that a life sentence should only be a life lesson and never a life sentence. Listen, everybody make mistakes, um, but we're so happy that we are in the mistake business. Mm -hmm. I believe that God can take a mess and make it into a masterpiece mm -hmm. with the right interventions and the right help. Listen, our mission is where everyone deserves a new beginning, not a second start, not a second chance, not a third chance, but a fresh start, a new beginning. And that's what we're all about. Listen, we want you to keep it locked. Our next, we be getting a flyer out soon, um, but our next Fresh Start Empowerment Clinic will be just Saturday, July 13th. Okay, so we want you to meet us over there on come Silver on. Lake um, at the Goodwill building like we were in March. So come on out, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. is going down, and our special focus will be warrant day, warrant resolution. If you have a pending misdemeanor warrant in justice courts and with superior courts, uh, not Superior Court, I'm sorry, Justice Courts and City Courts, mm -hmm. we want you to come out um, and let's handle those warrants for misdemeanor warrants, for tickets. We still be helping you with tickets. We still be helping you with suspended driver's license. If you got a pending warrant, you got court fees and fines, listen, July 13th will be warrant day. So get Ray Ray and them, get Pookie and them, get everybody <laughs> that you know that may have a warrant, that's scared to drive, yeah. scared to go to court. Listen, we're here to help them to get on their feet. So let's not forget about the amazing, great work that Fresh Start do every day. Want to give a shout out to the Fresh Start team that helps me. Mm. I know I'm the face, you see me, but let me tell you, there's a fabulous Fresh Start team, a fabulous Fresh Start committee who works with me tireless throughout the year to help this dream come into fruition. Don't forget um, the Fresh Start um, Expo October 19th on a Saturday morning 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. We want you to come early. Mm. We'll be back at the TCC helping everyone to get back on their feet. So keep it locked. Don't forget uh, we're excited about it and we're going up to Maricopa County in uh, the Phoenix area. Fresh Start Phoenix November 2nd. Mm. Um, that's going to be in Phoenix. So yeah, we're moving. We're rocking and rolling. We're trying to do all we can to make a difference in our community um also if if you want to support some of my books i got uh some books out there go check it out on amazon uh, my most recent release is black trauma what has happened to us uh so please go check it out and see what uh trauma for african americans in our country look like uh plus you got all kind of other different books out there from hurting people hurt mm. people get your mind right trauma new public stop health bleeding mercy on people that didn't cut yeah you. stop bleeding on people that didn't cut you so all that stuff is out there man go get that product go get those resources those books is going to be a blessing listen without further ado um we have a special guest in the house uh and she has uh, been a great benefit of our program. I just love their story. I talked with her on yesterday and said, hey, why don't you come be a guest and and uh, help our city know how impactful um, Fresh Start is and uh, its mission and how we have helped many people in our city and our community to get back on their feet and really, really get a fresh start. And listen, we have special guest. Her name is Shannon Spooner Smith that is with us on today. She even wearing one of the shirts. She came <laughs> in. She came in ready with the Fresh Start Show <laughs> shirt, man. I'm like, man, this is totally awesome, man. And I love it. She told me, she said, hey, I've been wearing the shirt. I've been telling people to buy it. <laughs> We've been in, you guys been impacting lives in the city. And mm. so I just love it. Uh, it's inspiring to me to hear that. Um, as a leader, and so I just wanted to uh, have Shannon to come on and just talk about the great things that uh, her group, her organization is excited for our events and how we're going to be working together and collaborating to make things happen. So, uh, so Shannon, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Thank you so kindly for taking time out your schedule to come on the Fresh Start Show with Dr. Hope. 
um, and to just discuss what's been going on. So uh, tell us uh, who you are and what organization you represent. Um, I work for La Frontera. Uh, I've been there for a year and a half. Fresh Start has opened up a lot of opportunity for me, and uh, I'm excited to share you know, the impact it has done to help me become a actual resource for others out in the community. All right, pull your mic up to you. You're not close enough. All right, there you go. Come on up. There you go. There you go. All right, so tell us, uh, so the last event and everything uh, you went to that we had in March. So tell us about that, and how was that impactful? Um, in March, I uh, attended that um, event, and uh, I had a few things that I needed to take care of on, on my end, and um, it knocked down a bunch of barriers for me, being able to uh, resolve a lot of city and county um, court, you know, cases that I had that I had unresolved and I just would avoid it um, just due to the fact that I didn't know what to do. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I would always set aside time to call the courts. I just never felt that I knew what to do as far as taking it to the next step and the next level um, to take care of what I, I I needed to and my obligations. So can you talk a little bit more in detail, like what were some of those things that people can know, like what um, type of uh, areas that we are helping with? So um, back in, like I believe it was back in 2008 or nine, I had a, a charge with a, a fictitious plate on a vehicle okay. um, and uh, no insurance on my vehicle. And it, it, that is a considered a criminal charge. Wow. And I, avoided it you know i didn't yeah. know what to do yeah. yeah i just plain and simply it wasn't that it was just ignorance i was scared mm. um and it was big fines and fees and finally i just said you know i gotta face the fact that i can't keep running from this stuff i have to if i want to be successful out in the community i have to take care of my obligations um the other one was a domestic violence charge um okay it was an intent to hit. Uh, I, again, I had court fines and fees, and you know it was an unresolved situation. But I took took it upon myself to actually face that barrier in order for me to grow out in the community and be successful in my job that I hold now. Um, were we able to help you with court fees and fines? Yes. Coming to fresh start? Yes, you were. Okay. I um, that is something that I can say that this program has offered. It's provided me hope. It's given me um, my dignity back. It's made me feel like I can be that successful person out in the community and give back to others and be able to share my story and not be afraid and let others know that they're not alone. And how many, How much uh, in dollars uh, perspective, how, how much uh, court fees and fines you have and how much were you able to help? Um, there, so there was a balance of like total between those two, it was about $10,000 wow. okay. and it resolved all of it mm. that Saturday back in March. So I was very, I felt like it was a blessing to yeah. be introduced to the Fresh Start program. And I, I can't even describe the gratitude that I have for this program. $10,000. Yes. You said it like it was $10. $10,000. $10,000. Did y'all hear that on Radio Land? <laughs> Listen, guys, $10,000. Shannon went and owed the courts $10,000. And with our partnerships with uh, the judges, with city courts and justice courts, um, we hear this all the time. And for, and, and, and for Shannon, we were able to waive ten grand of court fees and fines okay so that's why we be telling you um come down do not be wasting time get here as early as possible uh so we can get you registered and get you set up so you can see the judge and the, just as you just heard uh the testimony of 10 grand was waived that's crazy so tom what do you think about that man well we're always talking about it bro and and ten thousand that's part of it but the seal your record law went into effect this year and and people are getting to go before judges and erase their past 
erase the opportunity for people to look into their yeah. past, yeah. right? Yeah. And and this is part of that, bro. When we quash those those warrants, when we get rid of those fines and those fees, then the felonies aren't going to come up in the future. And we're talking about a warrant event yeah. in July. Yeah. We got people looking over their shoulders, man. That's right. Going yes. out to work every day and working under the table every day because mm -hmm. the man's after them because they got warrants, they got fines. I'm scared to go to court yeah. because they're going to put me in cuffs. Have we ever had anybody arrested at a we fresh start? We absolutely have no one arrested or brought into custody. Um, and we're going on our fourth year at the TCC in Tucson. Um, and we've never arrested anyone. No one has ever been uh handed off in cuffs or uh, or in chains or anything like that. That's a great point that you made. So what you do want you to come down. Um, again, we're going to be focused on warrants. This is going to be warrant day. If you have a mm. pending warrant, don't get me wrong, we will still help with some driver license issues, stuff like that. But the big uh, focus on July 13th is warrants, misdemeanor warrants. So if you got misdemeanor warrants, we want you to come down. We can't help you with felony warrants because that's Superior Court. We will mm -hmm. not be doing that for July 13th. We're going to be doing misdemeanor warrants with city courts and justice courts. So come down. If you got some warrants, you got some failure to appear, you, if you got a court date, you did not show up, more than likely you have a pending warrant. Mm -hmm. Please do not be driving, get pulled over, because more than likely an officer is going to arrest you, take you to the county jail, and they're going to tow your car. Yep. This is the reason why we want you to be handling this stuff. I mean, it can be as simple as uh, your right signal not working. Mm. And a police officer pull you up for a right signal malfunction and run your tag and run your social security number. And you had a court date. You had tickets you didn't pay and had a court date. And you was like, whatever, and thought nothing of it. More than likely, you have a warrant for mm. your arrest. That's how sensitive it is, guys. So we're not talking about... DUIs, we're mm. not talking about reckless driving. We're talking about a, as minor as a signal malfunction. If you get pulled over and they run your tags mm. and you see that 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 a uh, warrant, more than likely you're going you going to yep. arrest and go to jail. And the only thing that's probably gonna save <coughs> you if the jail is overcrowded. Because mm. if it's a minor offense and there's an overcrowding of the county jail, you might get lucky that day and just get a citation, then you go back to court. Let's not put ourselves in those situations so um so again we have uh shannon in the house uh with us and she's been sharing with us how much uh this has been such a blessing and such an impact so tell me about your organization tell me about uh some of the people in your organization that wants to come to the next event what, what are they looking for um, we have a big program that's uh, SCAR and the Inspire program. Um, okay. It works with a lot of clients of ours that are in the criminal justice system. And a lot of them are looking to resolve um, tickets, unresolved warrants, and just having the support. And with this program, Fresh Start, being offered, this will help get our clients back out into the community and become successful and it'll not only will this program help La Frontera help as far as being supportive in counseling and therapy that they need um, we assist um, with we don't offer housing but we have offer resources for our clients for that we yeah. we we have a big support network throughout our, our organization you know and we're also nonprofit and we love to help a lot of our our clients out in the community they're in need especially that need their rights restored to be feel that they're not alone and that yeah. they can be in my chair one day and be able to share their story yeah and how important and Tom can uh, um, chime in on this how important it is for you to get your voters rights back to be able to vote as as one of your uh, American rights as an American. How important is that? It has been a big, big impact on my life. Um, I feel like I can be an, a normal citizen and not just be a statistic and, and not be looked upon as, you know, um, as just somebody that was involved in the criminal justice system. I believe that everyone has their talents and just because of somebody's bad choice or choices that we have made in the past, it should not define us as a person that, yeah. you know, can be 
productive out in society. And I believe that the Fresh Start program is something that is beneficial to not only um, our clients, but it's a word of mouth. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Tom. I get emotional, bro. I get crazy emotional right now because I'm driving up and down the streets and I'm seeing these signs. Okay, and for the second time in my life, at the end of July, I'm going to be able to vote. Bro. Yeah, yeah, and and we just had one of the candidates a couple weeks ago, you yeah. know, Laura Conover. And yeah, yeah. to be part of this process, bro, and to speak to a candidate. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it brings us mm -hmm. back into, into the fold. You yeah, know, we, yeah. they, they introduced us back to what we were supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and now we can look at things and say, I can do that. Yeah. Exactly. You know, and that's what Fresh Start is doing, bro. Yeah, and the, yeah. the job thing we got to work on, you know, yeah. the housing thing we got to work yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. We have more people contacting. And you can speak yeah. to this for jobs. Hey, I can't get a job. I can't get a job with a sustainable wage yeah. because the first thing they ask me, you ever been convicted of a felony? Right. You know, and we continually talk to them. Man, we can get employers bonded and insured for hiring ex-cons. You know, let's start pushing these programs so we can get more employers. And let's start talking to landlords, man. These, it, these are hardworking people. I was in prison with thousands and thousands of men, bro. And those dudes would put in 40 to 60 hours a week just busting their butts to provide yeah. for their families if they were given the chance to do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's definitely... The housing situation is is a is a big concern as well for, and I think that's where this comes in play too. For a start, does help you not? It helps you feel like you're a citizen again. You yeah. feel like you're part of the country. Yeah. You don't just feel like you're some somebody that's off in a separate island. Mm. You know, and you're, you're considered a whole as a as a community, a society. Yeah. It's like people know, mm -hmm. you know, they, they know, they can look at me and know that my whole life was in there and they don't know, bro. But in our head, we, we create these yes. things. Oh, they're looking at me. They must, you know, they must see my tattoos. They must, you know, we don't have to do that anymore. We don't have to be scared Not anymore. Exactly. We don't have to fear anymore. We can come forward to fresh start. We can get our rights restored. We can get our records sealed. We can get fines taken away, which is life changing to the people yeah. we have spoken to. And I mean, what, what is it? Like hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? That, that, that Water Walkers was talking about. Mm -hmm. it, just absolutely insane numbers. That is life changing numbers. Right. We know that a person living in poverty, if they lose a battery or a tire, which adds up to about $200, it's catastrophic loss yes. for their family. And their kids aren't going to eat for a couple of days because they're using all their money just to have transportation. Yeah, yeah. We got to do better, bro. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and this also, I don't think all of this just should be on government. I also That's think right. that uh, there's many people in the community that, you know, that say, hey, let's buy a large piece of property and let's throw our money together. You know, and let's build more housing, you mm. know, because that's just what we need. I don't right. think that has to be a city, county project or a grant. Uh, how about we just do things because it's the right thing to do? Do you know how many churches, you know, we have in our city mm. um, and we still work in a siloed mm. uh, kind of capacity? That's really and mm -hmm. imagine if 20 churches that came together, whether they're white churches, black churches, Latino mm. churches, whether they were Lutheran, Baptist, Pentecostal, or Presbyterian, and said, let's just do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. Mm. And Ronald Reagan said, we can get a lot of things done if we didn't care who gets the credit. I still mm. believe that yeah. um, if we function um, in that kind of capacity, it's no secret what we can do. Mm. Um, people need a roof over their head. We know it's a big problem. How about we put some dollars together and say, let's get some properties. How about some organizations, some churches, and some individuals? Which means that everybody probably can't give 10 grand, 20, 100 grand, but, but 20,000 people can give 20 bucks. Yeah. Right. You know, and we say, hey, that 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 amount of money is going to purchase property, and we're going to mm. start doing some small homes, tiny homes, whatever that looks like. Mm or revamp or rebuild a old building um, that can turn into transitional housing or housing for an informed incarcerated, we can do it. I believe mm. if we can raise $100 million for super PAC campaigns, Come on. I believe we can do the right, right thing because it's the yeah. right thing to do because that's, right. that's, a, that's public safety. Yeah. Public safety is not just hiring 1,000 police officers on the street. Public safety is giving former incarcerated people uh, resources so that they don't impact recidivism and go back to prison 
go back filling our county jails and our and our state penitentiaries and federal penitentiaries and having a new having a, a new life i think that that that's you know it's not just also about you know i, I think you know our brother brian was talking about um the the fishing philosophy mm. you know in regards to you know if 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 i give you a fish um every day you want to learn how to fish but right. if i teach you how to fish uh you can fish for a lifetime but i got something even better than that how about we teach former incarcerated people how to buy the lake yeah and they right. can sell the yeah. fish in the water that's right, right. so that they yeah. create not just a job but now they're creating entrepreneurship they're generating wealth right. and income right. right so we can teach foreign incarcerated people the steps that they need far as financial literacy rebuilding their credit having some buying power mm -hmm. to let's invest in the whole freaking lake yeah and then right. we we sell the fish in the lake and create generational income and not just selling a job. So I just wanted to throw that in there. Yeah, and it, I mean, awesome. getting getting your voting yeah. rights back. That's the beginning of yes, that, bro. And right. you get your voting rights back, and now I can speak into what happens in society. Yeah. And if we got 200, 250,000 people in the state of Arizona disenfranchised from voting, all they have to do is come fill up some paperwork at Fresh Start, and they can get their voting rights back. Yeah. We can change the system. Right. We can change the laws. We yeah. can change the structures, the programs, and the projects that have always been a systemic failure yeah. because we haven't done it together. Yeah. Right. And yeah. when we start locking arms and doing it together and get out yeah. of our silos and yeah. not care about who gets the credit, yeah. okay, not who could, whose name is on this, yeah. you know, then we understand that the individual is more important than the group. The most exactly. Definitely. That's the most definitely, yeah. Yep. Yeah, you want to say something, Shane? No, I just, I, I agree with, with him. Um, it's, it's, it's very important what we give back to to society is what we are teaching others you know and yeah. so if we teach others that some someone like myself and and other people that have been in my situation can give back to the community and show them that there there's other people there to help them and mm. guide them you know yeah yeah, yeah. And I just, you know, I just want to let you guys know that I am so, I just feel, I want to just share my gratitude, you know, for this program. I, I, I just can't even, <laughs> it puts a smile on my face. Yeah. It really does. Have um, we impacted anybody else at Oh, Frontier? yes. I wanted to share this. <laughs> so there's quite a few people that have walked up to me um, and want their rights restored. And they yeah. come up to me and they're like, Shannon, can you share with me how you did it and what I need to do? Yeah. And, um. I've shared what they need to do, and I'd let them know about the upcoming event in June. Yeah. Um, but we also have a few um, people that were clients of mine that um, have restored their rights, cleared out some of their warrants, yeah. fines, fees, court fees, um, anything that they owed. And they went to that event back in March with me, and now they are currently working for La Frontera. And mm. I can honestly wow. say it's changed their life. It's turned their life around. And I, I, like I said, I can't show my gratitude how much the Fresh Start program has impacted not just myself. It's impacted others. And then they can share their story with somebody to bring somebody else that needs that yeah, help, yeah, you know. And it just yeah. it, 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 it shows that there is support out there. So if you need the assistance and the help and the guidance, it's it's here for for yeah. out, others that are out there that are wondering if they're going to have that access to the resources and the ability to take care of this stuff and be a a, a citizen out in the community and not ever have to look over their shoulder and wonder am i driving on a suspended license because i can't afford this, the tickets or um I have a warrant and and now I, I I'm running from the law. So yeah. I just I believe mm. that this program has impacted a lot of people with my organization. Mm. Not just certain people and employees, but I, I there's clients that showed up there. All right. Well, well thank you so much yeah. um, for for that comment. Listen, we got 51 seconds left. Tom, what we got going on in the community that we should know? Uh, well. Uh, we're still doing the orientations out at the state prison, the release center, every Tuesday. Uh, we're going to be going back into the state prison. We're going to go back into the federal prison. 
uh, did the federal prison yesterday. Uh, reentry simulation gave me the opportunity to speak to the staff there. Uh, we are being given more opportunities and more open doors in order to touch lives and move people into a flourishing future because mistakes are life lessons. They're not life sentences. All right. 20 seconds out. Listen, Shannon Smith, thank you for being with us. We're looking forward to doing some great things, some amazing thank things you. with you. And listen, we're out. Thank you all our listeners for listening to us on today. We see you next Saturday at 730. The new show, The Unbreakable Show, is coming June and July, so keep it locked. Take care. Have a fresh start and a blessed weekend.